All right, let's talk about the Kingdom of Wei in today's subject, just like we did with Mr. Xiao Yun. Wei is front and center for our topic for today. Is the Kingdom of Wei overrated? Now, this is technically the kingdom that won it all. They turned into Jin at the end, but by the time the Three Kingdoms end and, you know, there's a big advantage, Wei is the reason. They are the origin, in my opinion to the unification of China. So, just like we talked about with Shu being overhated, is Wei overrated? Now, Wei has its fellow, or has a fair share of haters as well. People don't like Wei for whatever reason. It could be Cao Cao, the way he was, or I don't know how you can hate Zhang Liang, so we're not gonna talk about him. Maybe Jia Xu, or too many strategists on Wei, or the sheer size of the roster. Or Shaho Dun, you know, there's a lot of controversy for him. Shaho Yuan getting killed, the way Shang He and Shu Chu are iterated, that could bring in some hate as well. I mean, Wei has his fair share of haters and reasons, I guess, to be hated. I understand them, I get them. But similarly to the Shu video, is Wei overrated? I'm gonna say no, just right now, so if you guys want, you know, that's the answer that I'm gonna give. And the rest of the video is me explaining why. So, Wei, for me, I don't think is a very overrated kingdom because I, I think in... Starting from the game aspect, every kingdom is, is given a time to shine, in my opinion, equally, right? Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5. 3 is more of like an individual. But they have their kingdom-based stories. They all have their moments. And there's no one, like, outweighing the other one. Dynasty Warriors 5, you have the individual stories. I think maybe Wei had... No, no, I think Shu had the most characters in Dynasty Warriors 5. I'll have to double-check it. But Wei, each character had their individual stories, had their individual moment. It was great, and so did the other kingdoms, and, you know, the other other kingdom. So, with Wei... And, and the later games and everything like that, they, they were great in that too. But Wei, for me, I don't think is an overrated kingdom because I, I think, at least the, the way they're portrayed in the game, it just seems to fit. Everything seems to fit for the characters and who they are. There's characters in Wei that also, would I, I would say, are paralleled into the other kingdoms. For example, like I think of like, like I think of like Xu Huang or Zhang Lian. I would say those two characters are very similar. The feats for those characters are obviously much different, but in terms of the way they're built and the characters, it's very similar. For example, Xu Huang and Tai Shitsa, they're basically the same character. Like they're almost the same character. They both have, I would say, similar ideals, similar morals. Obviously the fighting style is completely different for the games, but they're very similar characters. They, I would say like these two characters would get along pretty well because Xu Huang's a trainer, uh, he wants to work hard and da da da. But so does Tai Chi Tzu. Tai Chi Tzu is the exact same way. He wants to train, he wants to get better. He wants to find a way to push his kingdom forward, but they, I would say they have similar personality. Same thing with Xu, Xu has Guan Yu. I would say Guan Yu is a very honorable integrity maybe i'm gonna get some flack for that because and his arrogance towards the end i get it but in, in the beginning or just in the games guan yu is a very integral not integral he's a very integrity based honor based or similarity to like xiao yun xiao yun has similar aspects to shu huang in tai Tzu. i don't think they would all be friends but um you know xiao yun again he's down to earth he's there to do his job he's honorable integral he's not going to do something that's considered sneaky or evil or whatever it may be. There's a lot of parallels between the kingdoms, so I don't understand how anyone can think that any kingdom is overrated or underrated for that matter. I don't see how anybody can say any kingdom is overrated. I think everyone, every kingdom has their strengths and their weaknesses, but they all have parallels to each other. Every kingdom has a strategist or multiple strategists, right? And every kingdom has their vanguards and their generals and of course the commanders and everything. So I just think that Way being pinpointed as an overrated kingdom because of either the characters or maybe the way they win. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're too stacked. <laughs> In a way, it's just too stacked for their own good, and it's hard for them to lose a battle, whatever it may be. But I, I've seen that way being pinpointed as an overrated kingdom. It, it, that's their flip side, just like with Shu. Shu is, I think, a little too hated, right? The protagonists, the good guys, the this, the that. They don't deserve it. And then Way is overrated because they're becoming more popular, in my opinion, in the more modern age, you know? And I think it's because of the way, potentially, and at least for me, philosophically, the way way, <laughs> the way way deals with things, the way they kind of handle everything uh, from a philosophical standpoint, I think is much more relatable than Shu and Wu. Uh, with Shu, again, the benevolence and the emotions and all that stuff, I forgot to talk about in that video, but um, benevolence and emotions is something that people do not like. They don't like the fact that emotions control a lot of their characters. When Liu Bei preaches about the benevolence and then he goes on an emotional rampage after Guan Yu dies, where is his morals? Where do they go? Right? And with Wu, I think it's a similar aspect of Wei. 
a bit of an overrated kind of ascent. Uh, with Sun Chuan taking over and not really doing much, or Zhou Yu not being the best he could have been, or, you know, whatever it is for Wu. You know, you can bring the historical aspects into it. I don't really hear... Wu is probably the kingdom I hear the least about. I don't hear much about them. The only, again, the only thing I've heard from them is that they're bland. They don't really have to do much. Their generals aren't that stacked or anything like that. They don't have a lot of big time generals. But back over to Wei, I think the rise in their popularity has led them you know, again, it's similar to that anti, you know, mainstream thing. If you're surrounded by, or if some people are, if some people are surrounded by 10 people who all agree that blue is the best color, they're gonna be like, no, 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 I like red, you know? And I, and I hold true to that too, but I hold true to that as a person that can explain why. For example, and I know it's going a little off topic, but with the Dynasty Wars games, I like Dynasty Wars 6. I think Dynasty Wars 6 is, it's among my favorite. And for me personally, it's just because of the nostalgia factor along with the storytelling mechanics, because because for me, storytelling in the Dynasty Warriors game is the most interesting aspect of the game right in front of the gameplay. So the gameplay is right after it, but for me, if the story's not interesting, I'm not just gonna be interested in hopping into a game and slashing my way through everything. I just don't think that's gonna be a compelling thing to play. But the story or way characters handle things, relationships that they're build, you know, it's like watching a movie and that's what I, for me personally, attracts me to a, a Dynasty Warriors game, and that's why Dynasty Warriors 6 is so high up for me. Same thing with Wei, I think, and it's not to say that Shu and Wu don't have great stories, but Wei has a great story. The philosophical aspects of the Wei Kingdom is something that has been unmatched by the other two, and that's something, that's why they're my favorite kingdom. I talked about it in my uh, One Muso moment, I, and it's just something that resonates with me so hard because they represent to me what you should be as a person in the games, right? And we don't know what they're like in history, but in the games, the way they're represented is just so relatable, at least for me personally. You know, me being a Dynasty Warriors YouTuber, that's something that people around me don't necessarily agree with. They don't think it's gonna, it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean much, and that's okay, I understand. But for me, I stay true to that, because I know, well one, I have a bigger vision for this, and two, it's, it's something that brings me joy personally. You know, it, it brings me joy, and I'm able to build a little community, and just have something that brings me joy and fulfillment and that's what matters to me and that's why I'm so attached to Dynasty Warriors and making these videos and all that but the main point is um, I've already said at the beginning Wave to me is not an overrated kingdom none of the kingdoms to me are overrated I just think that perhaps because Wave is the winner or because perhaps they're getting more popular in the modern era right everybody's loving Cao Cao now and Chun Liao and you know Shaho Doon being uh, I think one of the director's favorites, so he gets a lot of screen time. You know, Wei has their overrated moment for sure, sure. You know, Shaho Doom being the way he is in the games. I mean, they gave him a lot. <laughs> but I don't mind it. I, I enjoy the story aspect. But it doesn't make the kingdom of Wei as a whole overrated, in my opinion. I think they're a great kingdom. They're right where they need to be, and I'm excited to see what they do for all the kingdoms in the future installments of the series. But uh, anyway, guys, that's all I have for the video here. Just another rampant discussion video talking about Kingdom of Wei. I guess I have to do one for Wu now since I've done the other two. What am I going to talk about? <laughs> Why Wu is so bland? Anyway, <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Wu is great kingdom. I mean, if you guys see my top 10 video, you'll know that half of my list is Wu characters, which is crazy. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe. It all helps out the channel. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the Kingdom of Way down below or any of the kingdoms. Just any thoughts you guys have about Dynasty Warriors. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.